Hey everyone. Well, I was thinking and uh, this is what I came up with. In my update video I said, or I was asking if you guys would be interested in vlogs and stuff like that. Uh, I had Rex 4x4 saying, daily vlogs, daily vlogs. Uh, one, I'm definitely not interesting enough <laughs> to do daily vlogs. So what I'm thinking is to do weekly vlogs. So I'm hoping that every Monday I'll upload a video. So from Sunday to Sunday, I'll, you know, whatever happens during the week, mash it all up and make it into a vlog. So I guess we can consider this my um, introduction to my weekly vlogs. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy them. Um, it's going to be a learning experience for me. And uh, I hope I can be slightly entertaining. So, uh, yeah. So right now, um, like I said, this is the intro. It's January 11th. It's a Wednesday. So this one's going to go from Wednesday to Sunday. It'll be up on Monday, whatever date that is. And then same thing. I'll start from there and then keep on going. And uh, the goal is at least to try to do it for the year, 2017. And if it keeps on going, well, I can keep on going and uh, see how it goes. I mean, hell. Um, right now I'm at work. Sometimes there's downtime. So if I'm going to be crazy and talk to myself, I might as well talk to the camera. <laughs> so um, that's it for the intro, and uh, let's see what else I come up with this week. All right, well, I don't know if this is going to be in it or not, but um, this is an in-truck test. Right now the GoPro, which is what I'm using for the vlogs, because it's just uh, more versatile. I can bring it outside to work without it being, you know, damaged, wet, whatever, like my cell phone, be a little bit more difficult. But anyway, right now just, uh, well, obviously you can see my hand, but it's on the dash, so it's not too bad because I can look at the camera because I'm looking at my speed when I do it at the same time. So here's a test. It may be on there, but anyway, uh, I'm on my way to work. End of test. <laughs> I will get better at this, I swear. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit. Well, good morning, everyone. It's not quite a really good morning, but whatever. I uh, always complain about this. I hate winter. So uh, we got a little bit of a dumping of snow. I mean, nothing major. I mean, we can handle it up here. We're used to it, but it still sucks to deal with. Although, uh, the one thing I do like, hello again. <laughs> the one thing I do like is now having this heavier all-wheel drive vehicle the Ridgeline. Oh my god, it's so good to drive in the streets compared to like a front-wheel drive car. And especially that now and then when I work, I actually work at 5 in the morning, so the plows never go by on our streets and stuff like that that early. Like, they haven't gone by on this street. I know you guys can't tell, but I can. But, uh, well, maybe I'll just do that for a second. Because I got nothing else to say. I already complained about the snow, but how much I love an all-wheel drive heavier vehicle. So anyway, I'm uh, on my way to work. So uh, yeah, here's the action. See, a lot of people doing their driveways and shoveling and stuff. Yeah. And the road isn't that bad. You know, it would, like I said, it would have been a little bit harder in a front wheel drive car, but. So that's the update for now. All right, morning. It's Friday morning. Time for the coffee before going to work. And then I'll be having another one once I'm at work. <laughs> Not drink too much of that stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, it's Friday. Sweet. I get the weekend off. I have a few things lined up. Hopefully it'll pan out. I'm hoping to do some stuff at home. Got a project I gotta work on and something else which I'm just gonna put on the vlog later. But yeah. I'm tired. I don't know why. I haven't been sleeping well lately. It's one of those things. Go to bed, can't sleep, it's like two, three in the morning. At least now I only work at nine, so it's not too bad, but next week when I work at five. I better be sleeping well. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to continue drinking my coffee and uh, see what happens from there.
Uh, as I said, I'm at work, and I got myself my other coffee. As I said, I drink too much of this shit. But it's so good. I'm probably going to have more later. Yeah. Alright, so check it out. I have uh, this idea for inside the truck that I thought of while I'm at work. Um, another placement for the camera. Um, I have this uh, magnetic cell phone holder. You know, so you just put the cell phone and hold it because there's a metal plate inside my battery thing but anyway uh, it comes with an extra plate really small one so it actually fits on the battery door of the GoPro so I'm thinking of putting that there and uh, checking out the angle so I haven't tried it I'm doing this live so uh, yeah let's try it and yeah well at least it sticks it's there uh, I seem to be facing upwards a lot but I can I know I can adjust cell phone holder so uh, let me know what's better, this or this, or maybe a combination of both, I don't know. So uh, I'll have to see how it is when I'm, uh, you know, when I check it out, because I can't tell. I'm going to put that back there for now. And um, see how it works while I'm driving. So. Just leaving work, like I said, it's still Friday, so got the weekend off. Looking forward to that. Who doesn't like a weekend off? And, uh, yeah, I don't know what I have planned for the weekend, but I'll try that. So, how's that angle? I don't know how much it, uh, it moves, whether it's too bumpy or not, but we'll see. I really don't have anything else to say. I don't. I can't think of a story or anything. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'll end it here and uh, let me know in the comments below which view you prefer. So check it out. Got some mail. Uh, I'm not showing the address and stuff because I don't want weirdos sending me like dildos or whatever else that I. Probably wouldn't. No, okay, I wouldn't use. <laughs> but anyway, um, this one here, that's going to be a uh, whole entire video. Won't be part of the vlog, so look over that one. And then this one, uh, it's all like little clips for uh, holding wires and stuff. It's for in the truck, so that way for the Bluetooth thing, I can show you all. So give me a second to open these up. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, you guys can't see. Anything, but ah, let it rain so anyway they're mini clips and they're actually like minier than I thought they were boom right there so yeah so that's the whole wiring stuff so I'll show you later anyway that's it You're definitely not an internet cat. As soon as the camera goes on you, you stop. Alright, hey everyone. I'm just getting away from the family upstairs. So that way I don't look like too much of a weirdo. Um, anyway, <laughs> today is Sunday. Uh, yesterday I decided to do absolutely nothing. So, yeah, I didn't even do anything. Didn't do the vlog. Whatever. Uh, today I got to one of the projects I wanted to do. It was on the ridge line. Didn't work out as planned. Um, you know, nothing broke or anything, which is good. But, uh, you know, I had a few things happen. So that's all on video. So that's going to be on there eventually. Because um, the vlogs are the vlogs and the other videos are the other videos. But yeah, so a little bit frustrated. But hey, I just took my time and kind of went at it. So, uh, anyway, so that's one thing. I still have the other two things I wanted to do, so uh, I'm sure I'm going to at least do one of them by tonight. Mm -hmm. So, that will be kind of on the vlog. I won't be making a video of that because it's just, I won't. But there's going to be a little explanation. So, yeah. 
So I just figured, uh, yeah, give it a little update since, you know, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do the weekly thing, whatever. So, um, yeah, did something on the ridge line. I should just wait till spring. I hate doing shit during the winter, but, yeah, well, I was excited. I wanted to. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, whatever. I'll see you in a bit. All right, well, I'm uh, starting to get things ready to start the other thing I wanted to do. And the other thing I wanted to do is beer, 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 beer. Yeah, I know. Hope I don't get copyrighted for that. Anyway, yeah, I make my own beer. I'm not going to go through the whole process because that would be a whole video. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to tell you how I started. started out with Mr. Beer. It's like a two-gallon kit. Got it for Christmas two years ago comes with bottles and everything and basically what you need to do is um, add the stuff which is uh, liquid malt extract it's already pre um, sweetened you know so there's already the sugar basically then all you have to do is add the uh, yeast well I uh, kinda like doing that but it wasn't enough so I now I've upgraded now it's like I have two buckets here but yeah six gallon buckets so that's basically two and a half cases so for us Canadians that's two and a half cases of two fours and uh, you know five six gallons whatever and uh, with the Mr. Beer you just kind of you know they say leave in a dark area whatever I put it in a cooler so it was in a relatively decent spot I have fun I made this for this one it's a fermenting chamber with uh, Peltier coolers Anyway, they can heat and cool, so I got the bottom one down there. That one actually heats, so then, you know, hot air rises, and this one cools, so cool there. And it's all controlled with basically a thermostat controller or whatever that I got off eBay. So, yeah, so uh, that's kind of like my little setup-ish. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to really say about it, except I enjoy it. Oh yeah, okay, I'll walk over here and, uh, let's see. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm making this time. Cooper's Canadian Blonde. So, uh, it's almost dinner time. So I'm gonna get this done after dinner. And then, uh, yeah. So then once that's done, what I have to do, I just have to boil that, add some uh, corn sugar to it, and then after I put it in the bucket, add the yeast, and then it goes in there for about a week until it's ready to uh, bottle, and then it's in bottles for about a week or two. Yeah, I think a couple of weeks. And then, uh, you know, bare minimum, but then the longer it stays in the bottles, the better. Yeah, so... Uh, that was my other project. I got another one including all the junk over here. The fan, that wardrobe box, and the filters. So that's another project, but uh, I'll probably start that sometime this week or whatever. So that'll be a video separate than this, because like I said, vlogs are vlogs and my other videos are my other videos. So, um, yep. Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, like I said, it's Sunday night, so... Uh, I may, I may show you some of the beer stuff, and then after that, uh, call it a wraps for this week's vlog. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you during uh, the beer making process. All right. Well, I'm starting the beer process. Uh, first thing I did was uh, I had to sanitize my bucket. So my bucket sanitized. Look at all those bubbles. Don't worry, those bubbles aren't from dish soap or anything. That's from my sanitizer because you have to sanitize everything. Um, their motto is actually don't fear the foam. So that foam is good. I leave it there and uh, now I'm just going to fill the bucket up a little bit with water. And once I boil the water with the syrup, which I'm going to show you upstairs when I'm doing that, I dump it in here for a bit and then I add more water and whatever. So uh, yeah, I'm going to fill this up with water a bit and uh, go start boiling upstairs. There you go, water's boiling. I add the sugar and the syrup stuff.
Here's your stuff. This is the liquid malt extract. And the can is heated up in some hot water, so that's why it's flowing so good, or else it'd be like really slow. Alright, and I already have some cold water in here too. Now dump this in. Alright, so I filled up the rest of my bucket. It's full, it's uh, between 21 and 27 degrees. This one is 23, so a perfect time. Here's my yeast packet, so we'll put it up, sprinkle the yeast, put my lid on top, and then I put it in there. This is called pitching the yeast. I just pitched it. Done. This is an airlock, so that's the uh, CO2 escape, but no oxygen to go in. And all I do is I fill that up with my um, sanitizer. I already turned this on. This is already at 21 degrees. Okay. And there, we'll check on it now and then, but basically it's leaving here for a week. There we go. So uh, in uh, about three weeks, I'd say, to a month, to make it taste really good, I'll have two and a half cases of beer. So uh, as I said, that's it for this week's uh, vlog, and uh, we'll see you at the ne next week's one.